Hey guys, what's going on? Jimmer here, and welcome back to episode 3 of my Toronto FC career mode. I just wanted to let you guys all know that I am indeed playing on the Xbox One instead of the PS4, so I've had to simulate the season to kind of get us to where we are. We still have the exact same number of games played. We have, I believe, one more point than we had before, and we're in roughly the same place in the division, so everything is all good to go. For this first match of the episode against DC United, I'm playing a bit of a different team. We've got more up top with Javinko, um, Bradley in the camp position with Warner, Osorio, and Sheru playing in the midfield, uh, Morgan, Kentari, Perkins, Keese and Balloon make up the back four with Bendik in goal. Oh, well stolen by Osorio. Osorio's through. Go on, Osorio. Oh, he's going to get caught, so he lays it off for Javinko. Javinko's faster. Javinko, he's going to cut inside. Javinko's got to score. He scores. 1-0 to Toronto FC. Get in. What a goal from Sebastian Javinko. Look at this. Osorio just lays it off. Javinko cuts through. Ball roll inside, and boom. It's 1-0. Beautiful, beautiful stuff from the Atomic Ant. Crowd him out, please. Come on, Bendik, win this. Oh my gosh, wow. That guy jumped about 10 feet. I think Javinko's going to hit this from 39 yards. Let's see if he can stick it in. Sebastian. Javinko! Oh my gosh, he nearly scored. All right, now Javinko from 37 yards. Let's give it a shot here. Javinko, try it again. Sebastian. Javinko. Oh, it's off the crossbar. Finish it off, please. Oh, yes. What a goal. It's 2-0. What a free kick from Sebastian Javinko. From 37 yards, he banged it. It went off the crossbar. And it's <laughs> and I believe it was... Was it Osorio that cleaned up the rebound? Um, I'm not sure who it was. Maybe it was Warner. Who was it that cleaned up the rebound? It was Moore. Moore put it in. Wow. What a goal. What a team effort from the Toronto FC. Out. Out. Oh. <gasps> Oh, oh, oh my gosh, that was nearly a goal. We nearly lost our 2-0 two, two lead there. Now more, hit him on the break to Javinko. Javinko's got the pace. Javinko cuts outside. He's going to play it in for Warner. Colin Warner looks for Javinko. Javinko takes it. Javinko, make the turn. Have a bang. Javinko, what a goal from Sebastian Javinko. His second of the game. Holy crap, what an individual effort that was. What a play. TFC is absolutely bossing it right now against DC United. My god, look at this. Lays it off for Colin Warner. Warner chips it through. Javinko cuts back. He finds the corner. What a goal. Wow. That is a candidate for goal of the episode, if not the series. That's got to be our best goal so far. <laughs> Move over Justin Warner's free kick. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, they hit the post. Holy crap. Clear this, please. Oh my goodness. Joe Bendick, you've absolutely earned yourself. No, that's a pen. What a save from Bendick. Oh my gosh. We couldn't avoid that, but Bendik made about 16 saves in a row. My god. Wow, what a keeper. He is making a case for us to keep him at the end of the season. Look at all these saves, man. Look at this. Benoit Sheru on the break. Looks for Javinko. Javinko in acres of space. Javinko could be a fourth. Javinko's going to play it across. That's a great ball. Luke Moore! Oh, he just fires it wide. Oh, no. He's through. Come out, Bendik. Come out, Bendik. Come on, Bendik. Oh, he's hit the post. Clear that. Oh, what? A Again, Bendik, what a save. He is absolutely holding the fort down. And there goes the final whistle, boys. A convincing 3-1 victory over DC United. Time to move on to the next match. All right, guys, for this match, I've changed the team up a little bit. We're going with the same formation, but we're changing the strike force up a little bit. Javinko saves, stays in the same spot, but Altador is coming in for Luke Moore. In addition, instead of Ashton Morgan, we brought in Justin Morrow, who is the current holder of the goal of the series title. But that may have changed with Javinko's banger last game. Joe Bendik is going to be staying in his position in net. We're going to take on New York City FC with this team. Let's see how we do. That's a great interception. Javinko gets the ball. Javinko plays it in. Altador, his first game back in the team. Yozzi, Altador! Oh, what a save from the keeper. Oh, Warner gets around one. That's some good moves from Warner. Now Bradley's got time and space. He plays Altador. Altador slows it down. Looks for Javinko across. Great ball. Can Javinko make that? No, he cannot. But it goes right back to Altador. Altador on for Sheru. Sheru bangs one! Ooh! That was almost in. Good shot from Benoit Sheru. Wow, they've actually gone and brought on Pirlo at the half, so we've got to deal with the Italian wizard of passing, aka Andreas Pirlo. Not to mention David Villa, I just noticed that. So now we've got to deal with David Villa as well. This should be interesting. Well done there. Great little play there. Looks for Javinko. It's fallen-ish to him. Javinko wins the ball. Javinko, he's got pace. 
puts it outside for Altidore. Altidore looks to beat him to the outside. Altidore cuts in. No, he's going to cut back. He's lost the ball. No, he's fallen over. It's a penalty. We got a penalty in the 59th minute. Fernandez has given it up. No, Hernandez has given it up. For New York City FC. Oh, he just stuck his foot in. He got it all wrong. He got the ball, but still, he got it all wrong. And Toronto FC have been awarded a penalty. Oh my goodness, Javinko's standing over it. Stick it in for me, Javinko. Sebastian, Javinko, top right, boom, bar south, it's a goal. We're up 1-0 against New York City FC. I will tell you, the boys in red have been seeming to find their form lately. We're, we won our last game, and now we're up again in the second game. I'm feeling pretty good right now. Some great interlocking play, and now they're away. David Villa against Ahmed Kentari. Via looks to whip it across, he does. Head it away please, thank you. Great defending there from Toronto FC. Oh, Cantari's been caught here. He's gone up too far. They tried to play the offside trap, but it didn't work. Look out, New York City has a great chance, and they score from it. In the 89th minute, that's so disappointing. That was all Ahmed Cantari. I'm not quite sure what he was doing there. And we deserved it, I'm sorry. I don't know what Cantari was doing so far up. That was so stupid they just absolutely tore us apart and there was nothing that joe bendick could do that's not bendick's fault that's just mistakes on the part of the defense and now we gotta make it up there's the final whistle it's all over we get the one one draw it's unfortunate that that mistake was made that cost us the three points but we still got one point and i am happy with that for the final game of this episode, I'm at home to the Philadelphia Union. I've changed things up a little bit again, so we're going to go through the changes. First of all, I have taken Altidore out and I put Moore back in due to the fact that he is in form. Um, I've actually taken out uh, Warner and I put in Marky Delgado to give him a game just to see how he is. He's out of form right now, but let's see if we can improve that as time goes on. I've also taken out Ahmed Kantari and put in Nick Hagland for a game just due to the fact that Kantari gave up that goal and he cannot be doing that, so we're going to reward Hagland with the game just because of Kantari's mistake. Marky Delgado, come on. You're just you're new from the reserves bench. You deserve a game. And we're gonna give you it. Delgado, that's a great ball. Bradley can make that. It's far right to Javinko! Javinko scores! It's 1-0! It fell right to him and Javinko put it away. Yes! That's his third goal in three games. Absolute domination from Sebastian Javinko. Close him down. Close him down. Well done. Well done to close him down there. And now we go. Marky Delgado. Delgado needs one. Great moves. Delgado. He's going to play it outside. And that doesn't... That ball doesn't work. Oh, dear. That's going to be a yellow. For now, we got to defend this. Defend it, please. Clear it. Clear it. Not good. I don't like this. What a save from Joe. Oh, dear. you got to pick up those rebounds. Come on, man. Oh, that's so frustrating. And Sebastian Latou, the former Montreal Impact striker, ties the game up at one. That's so disappointing, man. Look at this. The Union play the ball in, head it over the defender, the slice and kick, and Bendik makes the initial save, but he can't. The defense just can't clean up the rebound in time, and just like that, it's 1-1. It actually went in off Bloom's knee, which is disappointing. All right. So we're down. Or not, we're down. It. This game is tied. It's fallen to Moore. Moore actually wants to make it right. Moore looks for Javinko. That ball ain't going to work. Not any day of the week. Oh dear, that's a terrible giveaway from Osorio. Now Osorio's caught. This could spell trouble. And now Bloom. That's not a foul, man. Now look more. Now we go. Delgado. Delgado, you need to score and solidify your place in the team. Marky. Delgado. Marky, get the game winner. Marky! He scores! 2-1! Marky Delgado! What a goal! What an individual effort from one Marky Delgado. Beautiful! It's 2-1. Yes! Look at this, he gets the ball, absolutely does the defender, beats one, beats two, beats three, and a curling shot into the bottom right corner, just like that, it's 2-1, and we are up. Come on, you Reds, let's get this win. Michael Bradley plays it outside, that's a good ball, now Moore's gonna win, win that, Moore's still on it, Moore, oh, that ball could've worked and we could've been in, still might work. No. It's over. We get the three points. We get the victory in our final game of the episode. Come on, you Reds. Absolute domination this episode, and I absolutely love it. Right, guys, that is where I'm going to leave it for this episode. In the next episode, we're going to be playing further games, and we're going to be continuing to move our way up the table. As you can see right now, we're actually in 10th place, which is not where we want to be, but that will obviously change in further episodes as we continue to improve and progress throughout the series. I expect that we will get ourselves into a playoff 
position. Now, keep in mind, there's only three points separating fifth place from tenth place. Fifth place represents the final playoff spot in the East, so I believe it is attainable. As always, I thank you guys so much for watching this episode of the Toronto FC Career Mode. I will see you guys next time. Till then, bye! First one. Come on, Yang. Please, Yang, just please, somebody good. Team of the Year! Okay, that's not a team of the year. Are you telling me in a 25k pack our best player was Patricio? <laughs>